This is the biggest thing with the firefighter thing. I understand if you think that Destiny's comments are insensitive, and I, I definitely think it's ridiculous to say that the firefighter guy deserved to die or something. But unfortunately, a lot of people that called him out for that are major hypocrites and have done the same exact thing. Okay, the official pod- what is going on with the official podcast and Kaya? What do they do? I like Kaya from the episodes I've listened to. I thought he was cool. I'm on the sub right now. I don't see a lot of people even talking about Kaya. I mean, these posts have like five likes. What, what did Kaya even do? Why is everyone trying to cancel Kaya? This sub seems flooded with Kaya chat at the moment. Do people actually hate Kaya or is it mainly Destiny fanboys? What happened with Destiny and Kaya? I personally love Kaya. We need to cancel the other three hosts because Kaya is superior. All hail Kaya. It's summer and these high school kids are getting bored. This is so real. I forgot about them kids being off school. Destiny fans are rabid. There are so many of them and most of them are un as unhinged as he is. They will flood any Destiny community. Any community Destiny has a passing relevance to a brigade in his honor. It happens at PKA too. They never specifically say they've come in honor of Destiny either. They try to pass out like they're actual members of the community, but they don't give a shit about the subreddit. What what did he do? What did Kaya do? Kaya Destiny. I'll look this up on Twitter. Destiny advocated for cheese pizza. All right. I'll look Kaya in the Destiny sub. All right. Here we go. Let's see here. That Kaya guy that thinks Destiny's firefighter comments are too edgy says stuff like this. One of that one of these days, these IRL streamers and pranksters are gonna get themselves shot on camera, and I will jerk off. Uh, Did something happen happened just it's recently? That yeah. happened yesterday, yeah. Uh, there was a, prank, a YouTube prankster, uh, an up-and-coming YouTube prankster, who charged the family with butcher knives as a prank, and he got shot and died. No. Yes! Yeah. Oh, yes! No. That actually makes me so happy! Yes! Oh! Uh -huh. Thank you, that delivered a straight shot of positive vibes into my veins. Yes! Spit on his grave! God, oh, did the family get geez. a chance to spit on his grave? The it's family gone. was a friend of the guy, so they're actually was it pretty filmed? traumatized. Yeah, how old was the guy? 20. Yeah, that's... Good! Yeah. Jeez. Piece of shit. Piece of I hate them so much. I don't feel sympathy. Wait, so why are, why are, what is this? Oh, he thinks the firefighter comments are edgy. Did he, did he criticize, um, did he criticize Destiny? This is him wishing they had killed politicians on January 6th. You've got Metro uh, police from the DC, um, uh, the police department. Me too, B. I was so, ah, come on, like, I said this in my Discord, but if God had any sense of humor and cared about us at all, so they won't we could have gotten at least like one dead politician out of this for our amusement. For manpower. Oh, okay, I see. Is this why people are mad at Kaya? Okay. So I, I assume he, he criticized Destiny for his firefighter thing. This is the biggest thing with the firefighter thing. Like, you know, I understand if you think that Destiny's comments are insensitive. And I, I definitely think it's ridiculous to say that um, the firefighter guy deserved to die or something along those lines. But unfortunately, a lot of people that called him out for that are major hypocrites and have done the same exact thing. What did he actually say about Destiny, though? I feel like maybe I've actually seen this at some point, but I just don't. I don't remember specifically what he said. Destiny on Charlie Moist Critical's podcast, Kaya being unhinged. Relating to Trump's assassination, apparently he was a firefighter, the worst guy to hate. Destiny on Twitter saying he deserved it. To take a bullet for them. Just a family man. Apparently he was a firefighter. Like the worst guy to hate. Possibly. Uh, you cannot, you couldn't have shot more of a salt of the earth, regular working Joe, poor guy who just wanted to save his family. And Destiny's on Twitter saying he deserved it. Okay. So the, hip the hypocrisy is in, you have that, but then by that same kind of note you also have him saying that politicians should have died during january 6 right oh uh, police from the dc um uh, the police department Me too, the B. i was so ah come on like i said this in my discord but if god had any sense of humor and cared about us at all so they won't we could have gotten at least like one dead politician out of this for our amusement for manpower to empty out okay so they're, I mean, they're basically showing the inconsistency, right? They're showing he's a hypocrite. Yeah, I mean, I think that's a fair criticism. Um, let's see here. What else have they said about him? He's dodging Destiny. Destiny's whole shtick is that he says to rile people up and get them to debate bro him on stream for clicks. I'll pass. A station in life is to suck the bull sperm out of his wife's stretched out rectum. Hey, yo, what the f <laughs> That's not someone on equal footing, geez. The thing is, like, I don't think... This kind of frames it as if, like, what Destiny was saying was, like, all bait. But it, it wasn't, like, all bait, right? What he said wasn't bait. Destiny actually told people to aim better. Okay, Mr. Obvious, but, like, that's the same thing as what Kaya did in that clip where he said he wished that a politician had died at January 6th, right? Like, that's the same thing. It is the same thing. It just is. Destiny said worse stuff in the past. I mean, maybe he has, but, like, that's not what Kaya's talking about here. If you want to make a video criticizing Destiny, you can do that, but I'm not talking about whatever he said in the past. I'm talking about this specifically, right? The difference is one's a politician and the other is a firefighter. Okay. Politicians aren't human. Tony Comparator was, if you hate Trump, that's fine. Just don't take your fellow citizen. That's retarded. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's retarded. Charlie defended Destiny. It's on his main channel a week ago. Did Charlie defend Destiny? If I had said what Destiny said, I would have been banned and deplatformed. I mean, maybe that is the case, but 
I don't think you should be banned or deplatformed. You know what I mean? Like, I, I agree there has been, like, an inconsistency from social media platforms. It's really bad, but, like, Destiny isn't the social media company, you know? I don't think anyone should be censored, to be honest with you. Politicians are evil. They screw everyone. Firefighters serve the people not the same. Not all politicians are evil, though. That's just not true. I mean, some undoubtedly are, are like, very bad people. I don't really give a shit if you want to make jokes about them, but, like, if you're going to say like that and say that it's, like, turning up the temperature of the country and encouraging violence. Like, you can't also be shocked when someone says that about a firefighter, you know? Like, if you're going to make fun of the death of someone that you consider to be your political enemy, you shouldn't be surprised when who you consider to be your political enemy does the same thing to you, right? You can't soy out about it. It's beyond destiny. He's the Chris to Charlie's Mr. Beast. He's a Trump fan who brings in pol- Okay. Kaya is not the Chris to Charlie's Mr. Beast. Okay, that's not exactly an app comparison. I wouldn't I wouldn't say that about Kaya. Geez. He's a Trump fan who brings in politics even when Charlie tries to stay clear of it. I mean, I don't really care if he's a Trump supporter. I don't really give a but um, I just, you know, I saw the hypocrisy, basically. Name one good politician, me. I think the issue is Destiny was intentionally hoping for people to die. He was absolutely serious about it. However, the same people who want freedom of speech are calling for him to be deplatformed. Um, yeah, I mean, it definitely reads like he was hoping for them to die. I would, you know. Well, his defense would be like, I don't want them to die, but I don't feel bad if they do, essentially, right? Um, but also, like, in that clip of Kaya, like, it was the same kind of caliber of quote-unquote joke he was making, right? The same people who want freedom of speech are calling for him to be for him to be deplatformed. I mean, that's that's the thing that I've noticed. And it really sucks. It really sucks that this is the way it goes. Because, like, for the past while, it seemed to me like the right had a more principled position on freedom of speech, like conservatives in general. And I like that about them, if nothing else, right? I really appreciated that. But ultimately, what you quickly realize, what you very quickly, quickly realize, um is essentially that both sides, as soon as they have power, will fight to censor their political enemies, right? Like, the, the left has been doing this for, like, eight years, right? Bread tubers have been advocating for censorship, advocating for people to be banned, all kinds of shit, right? And when Nick Fuentes got banned on YouTube, like, seven or eight years ago, you know, I, I defended him from being deplatformed, right? I was like, he shouldn't be deplatformed. So, like, when the left is in power, they'll do that. But then when the right is in power, now they're censoring their political enemies, saying Destiny needs to be banned. Even Tim Pool, like, they're like free speech guy, has been saying Destiny should be banned. Tom, it goes beyond that with Destiny. He legit plotted a double murder. It wasn't a joke. That's what concerns me the most. He's unhinged. I'm sorry, Destiny plotted a double murder? When did he plot a double murder? Did Destiny outline that he wanted to murder someone in a double murder? When was this? Oh, are you talking about... Hold on. You're talking about the kid who was DDoSing him, aren't you? Yeah, I don't honestly don't give a fuck about that, dude. I'm sorry. I honestly don't think he was legitimately plotting a double, double murder. If somebody was DDoSing me, throttling my internet constantly, preventing me from doing my job, and I wasn't able to pay my bills, I'd be raging, falling asleep. I'd be so mad, dude. I don't give a fuck about that, honestly. Dude, if, if somebody is specifically going out of their way to, like, hinder my place of business, and they know they're doing it, and it's, like, intentional, I would be so pissed off. I would be. In the same way that, like, if, if there was, like, a protest going on, and protesters were, like, breaking down my business, and they're destroying all my shit, you know? What are you supposed to do about that? They're, it's just property. No, it's not just property. It's your property. Anger's fine saying you'll kill people is insane. I mean, the thing is, like, he didn't do it, did he? I would be, dude, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I would be so unhinged if somebody was doing that to me. If somebody was consistently DDoSing my connection so I can't do my job, a job that, like, it's almost even by chance that I have it, I would be so mad. I honestly don't give a and if he had killed him, he would have gone to jail. So, Tom, do you know about Tim Pool buying the land where a DIY skate park was to kick them out because he tried to buy it into skateboarding, basically, and they said they didn't want his money? I have not heard about that. Like, I don't know. That's kind of funny. That's kind of funny. People are, you're, you're like, I want to do skateboarding here. They're like, no. So you're just like, oh, I'm a billionaire or whatever. I'll just buy you. I think that's kind of funny. That's kind of based to me. Tom, the heat that Kai is getting is not only about what he said about Destiny's wife, but he also made a joke about an eight-year-old girl well if it's a joke then whatever unless he's like a hypocrite i guess but i don't i have no reason to believe that kaya is attracted to children so i wouldn't even be mad at him for that you know i see that as the same thing as that old mr beast clip on um Hawatsu. capitalist pig dude i am a capitalist pig i'm gonna make as much money as possible and i'm gonna buy my enemies that's what i'm gonna do and then they're gonna work for me you can never prevent me from being a capitalist i'm gonna make as much money as possible and then you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna be a landlord i'm gonna be a landlord ha <laughs> I will. That's my plan. I'm going to get rich and then I'm going to be a landlord. I'm going to collect rent from poor people. That's what I'm going to do. And there's nothing you can do about it. Don't do it yourself, Tom. Instead, call upon us, your true diaper maxing patriots, and we would end the disturbance for you. Well, thank you very much for that, Dono. But yeah, you, you can't you can't stop me from being a capitalist. There's nothing you can do. If you do that, I'm going to start DDoSing your internet. Well, then you know what I'm going to do, Smaggle Daggle. Smaggle Daggle, I know where you live. Keep that in mind, okay? Keep that, keep that up top. You know, I know where you live. I might personally deliver a pizza to your house. Also, I think the reason he was being DDoS back in the day was because Skype would publicize your IP somehow. And that's how they did it. But yeah.
I don't, I don't hate Kaya, but that's definitely a big point of hypocrisy from what I've seen. Goddamn. Brett Cooper or Meowdlin? I think you know my answer. When you make single mothers pay more rent, I'll make her children pay rent. I'll make sure those kids never see the inside of a classroom because they'll be working too hard to pay my rent. That's what I'll do. That's exactly what I'll do. And they'll all be paying me obscene amounts of money, okay? And then I'll use that money to buy cars and then I'll, uh, I'll use those cars to drive to their apartment when they're not there and break things in it like the sink, and then I'll refuse to pay for it, and they'll be in a, a horrible cycle they can never get out of it. That's exactly what I'm going to do, okay? It's over for single mothers, in my opinion. Straight to the coal mines, chat. Piss on their floor? I will. Not when they're there. Single mothers got it coming? Yeah, exactly. Should have been married. <laughs>